Hey my wonderful people, how are you doing? This video, what we are simply going to do is we are going to be creating an Instagram mockup right inside of Canva. You know, your custom mockup so that you don't really have to spend too much time trying to look for mockups elsewhere because sometimes you just don't get what you want. So in this video, what you see on the screen is what we are actually going to be creating inside of Canva. So don't go anywhere. Let's get into it. And before we even jump into it, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because we are gradually entering into 2024 and trust me, you there are exciting tutorials coming your way if you're on the free version of canva there's a link in the description box below that can help you start using canva pro for free so let's jump straight into the video Alright, so usually we don't even come here at all. It's been a long time we even came on this page. So we will just create a custom, you know, dimension. So we'll come here and just say 1080 should go into the width and 1350 should come into the height. I have it over here, so I'll just click here. Okay. After everything is loaded, what we are simply going to do is we'll first of all press R on our keyboard to add this nice, you know, shape. Then we'll come into the border style. Okay, make sure no, don't click here. Okay, come to corner rounding and and increase the corner rounding okay now because we want to make this shape white we would have to change the color of the background okay so you can just make it an off-white okay just drop it down no this went to, okay so something like this is fine okay if you want to make sure your shape is positioned make sure to come to position and you know you see middle and center okay just click on them if they are activated okay okay so now we can make this white so i just choose white for this and we have our background it's looking very very sweet okay so the next thing we are going to do is to create the profile all right so i'll first of all come into element okay in element you can just find the circle frame in here okay then press c on your keyboard not t c on your keyboard okay to add this beautiful circle even though it's plain at the moment come to color and choose no color okay then come to border style and choose the you know the solid one okay then the weight you can increase it to something like this all right so we'll move this and try to make sure it's centered just like we have in here then make sure you're clicking on the corner press and hold alt and reduce it okay so you have something like this at the moment the photo frame is behind okay so what you can do is right click come to layer come to show layers and just drag and move it to the top or just move the circle uh -huh, to the bottom all right now we want to apply the gradient okay the instagram gradient and i don't think i'm very sure about it so let me see instagram color gradient okay so that we use we all see because i don't have the colors in mind all right so let me just first of all click on it and this is it so the first color okay let me just move it here okay yeah you don't have you just have to listen to the color so before we even apply it come to border style okay select it come to gradient okay now the first color i'll just paste it here is f9 ce34 all right the second color okay would we'll come in here and we'll just paste it here it's ee2a7b okay and there's a third color okay so the third color will come you know just click on the plus add the third color and it's six two two eight d seven this is it we have actually created it very very nice and very easy so reduce it okay and position it somewhere here Alrighty now because we've reduced the size of the circle and everything here the width now looks bigger even though it's not looking it's the same size but it looks bigger now so i'll just come to border style and i'll just reduce it a little bit uh -huh, so that it just gives the impression that oh this person has posted an instagram story okay nice one so we have it here press t on your keyboard and add your you know username or your handle so on instagram it will just i'll just put mine here african geeks okay and usually this is bold so i'll select all and make it bold and we'll position it here okay then maybe we want to add the location so duplicate it with ctrl d make sure this isn't bold and i'll just say accra okay ghana okay so i'll just put mine in here so you can also add your location then another thing is we want to assume we are verified okay so come into element and search for verified check okay 
and you should see you know any of this so select the one you like and i would you know maybe reduce it to something like this making sure the size you know it's small enough all right all right and use your arrow key to you know make it look like this now another thing we want to do is usually the time okay maybe how long the push was made so we would just say um 59 minutes ago okay so 59 m okay usually it's 59 m that's what instagram does okay then we'll just make it gray okay because it's usually gray then we'll position it here okay so that anyone can see there's always a dot before the time but for the sake of this you know we'll just leave it like this you know because the dot i don't know how i can get it on my keyboard even though i kind of like no okay 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 so this is it if you're on windows i don't know about mac but if you're on windows press on your windows um you know the home key the the windows button okay on the windows key and just search for character okay so you see character map okay and it should open all of this in here then you can just look for it it's called a dot okay i don't know the exact name uh -huh, this is it so middle dot okay so you can just select it and click select and copy okay now when you come here you can just paste it in here okay so this is it okay yeah so that's what we have actually done at the moment anyway for mac users i am sorry i'm not a mac fan okay so yeah apologies anyway now we would come here to create our triple dot so press c on your keyboard okay move it to the top and make it very small okay so very tiny i'm going to zoom in if you want to also zoom in use control and the plus icon okay then we duplicate this and center okay no not center but you know something like this select it all come to color and make it black okay or if you don't want to make it black you can make it like a, a lighter a darker gray okay you can also do that then we position it somewhere here it's usually in line with um you know the profile name or the username okay so you can see this is what we have at the moment lovely javelin now we are moving down to the actual post okay so in this you are going to add a photo frame and then we'll do the necessary things we want to do on it okay so come here into element and element scroll down okay you should see frames add the frame of your choice okay so you can just position it here and it should be aligned with what we have in here so nice one and would we'll increase the size you know to something like this i think we'd have to reduce the size of this okay a little bit more okay now select everything and we'll just make sure it's aligned properly okay then we'll move this to the top nice one nice one nice one all right then what we are simply going to do is to focus on the engagement buttons and the other things you know that have to go on the bottom over here so come into element and search for the lab you should see um red lab okay so come to graphics select you know the love then come to you know back in here and just search for comments okay the comment instagram this is how their comment actually looks like okay so you can select it and um, if you find the thicker one just select the thicker one instead then you see um then then search for share okay the share uh -huh, so that we can use the thicker one so i'll just delete this one at the moment and um we'll just arrange everything okay so to arrange everything you can just put all of them in here you know just or you can just stack all of them together just like this select or and make sure you're not make sure you're just selecting the icons and reduce it okay yeah then bring them down in here okay so separate them lovely okay the comment looks bigger so i'll reduce it a little bit this also looks bigger i'll reduce it a little bit something like this and i think yeah so this is what we have at the moment and we'll select everything and position it here okay one thing we can realize is that because of how this is angled it makes it look smaller so for this you can increase it a little bit okay so that yeah it looks better i think it looks better like this and then we'll look for the save okay so come back in here and search for save select it you know choose any of this and what what did i just do okay so select it and i will reduce the size okay yeah to something like this and make sure it's also 
in here so you can see it's looking very 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 nice lovely javelin okay now we want to assume this is a carousel okay so on instagram if you post a carousel there are usually some dots at the bottom which makes you know you know the number of pages and all of that so we are going to also do the same in here okay so to do this we'll just press c on our keyboard okay for a circle you choose the size okay make it actually like very small and put it in here then duplicate the circle move it to the top something like this then add more okay so one two three four five six seven okay so let's assume you know there are seven now select all of them okay and you can do this by pressing and holding shift all right then we'll change the color to make them lighter okay then you select any of them and make it blue just to give the impression that maybe we on the third page okay so this is how it looks you know yeah it's, i think i like it I, I i like it it's very nice okay so we'll drop this a little bit and maybe we would also drop this a little bit okay so that it doesn't look like we are leaving too much room then move it to the top something like that we have you know everything almost done and the next thing we are going to do is to add a caption maybe the number of likes you've received so far okay so simply maybe duplicate these texts okay select the two of them and you just have to press and hold shift okay to select them and duplicate them okay then i blue i'll just put hey, what did i say plut <laughs> i'll put this here i can just see maybe 360 likes okay 360 likes which is not bad we would have it in here okay and move it to the top a little bit one thing i just don't like is how difficult it gets to feel to move some of these things okay then i'll just say you know it starts with your um username okay so african geek and we would make it in you know, a long like this okay and make sure to change the alignment to left okay then space and say what you have to say so i'll just say it's beautiful connecting with people from different parts of the world life is better with people and which is very true okay so i would select all of this and make it bold okay then what we can even do is if let's say there are more to it we can duplicate this bring it down here and just see maybe view all 150 comments okay so we just you know assuming but what did i just do okay so we are just assuming a lot of people have actually commented on our post okay then we change it to a lighter gray just like we always see on instagram okay something like this okay very 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 cool and um yeah so now let's try to customize i think this actually looks as you know it looks like a post from instagram very very beautiful so we'll you know add a image in here so let's come into photos okay um, where's my photos okay so this is my photos then i'll just search for cool guy okay i just want a cool guy okay i think this works for me so i'll just put him here and you know increase it a little bit something like this i think that's cool then with the image okay we can just i can just search for glow can put any image in here okay so i think i want it i'll just see people happy okay so i'll look for okay this looks beautiful and i will just come into the border style and add the corner around it okay this is very very easy so you can always use this as a mock-up um, template so when you create posts for your clients okay you can always come in here and drag and drop the final design in here so that they can at least see how their post is going to look like when it's posted on instagram so this is a cool template you can actually have in your arsenal of mockups okay for your client's work and let me know if you need this template i'll just send it over to you i hope you found this video helpful and very easy to follow if you did please smash on the like button just to support this video and just in case there's any other video you want me to create kindly let me know in the comment section below the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video